Hey everybody, this is Not a Spring Chick, and as you can tell, we are in working we're in working mode today. We have a million things to do. And as you can see, recent developments, okay. The fireplace used to be clear, it's quickly okay. It was Oscar season. <laughs> okay. So guess what happens during Oscar season? Okay, I have a lot of things. The challenge is what not what do we write about or what do we talk about? The challenge is we have so many things to write and talk about that as you can see, it's all over the place, I know. So we have a lot we have a lot coming to you. Can you believe all that? Yes, yes, yes. Anyway, meanwhile, we're gonna bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans again. Yeah, well, the press are just <laughs> condemning the Republican budget that they have actually done for five straight years. The Democrats have not done once. Uh, you know, because they said the figures just don't add up. Let's see. The Republicans balanced the budget by stopping spending money and putting the growth back to what it was when Obama became president. <laughs> and then they uh, they basically, in, in what we're talking, if, if you're 30 years old now, in 45 years, you're going to have to worry about Medicare changes. Mm -hmm. If you're 50 years old, you don't worry about anything. If you're 45 years old, well, you're going to have to worry about it in 30 years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, the President of the United States condemned that it's dead on arrival. Well, and then he said that we have the only fair and balanced budget. Well, theirs isn't balanced. It raises taxes and does virtually no cutting. It, I mean, it, it, all it is is they spend more money. But, the, you know, as they said, that I heard one of the person said, one of the people over on one of the Democrats, he said, you know, Mr. President, hell is going to freeze over before you get another tax increase. You got it. Mm. You blew it. That's <laughs> what they were talking last night on the news. The President had it in his back pocket to get the tax increase on the budget and a big tax increase because the, they would have readjusted all of the, um, you know, what the deduction stuff, so instead of having a tax rate increase up to 41%, he'd have had it to 60% and he blew Ouch. it. And they're all saying that he has got, he, he, he started off his next second term with a big F from everybody. Ooh. Democrats at all. Because they said, we had the Republicans on the run and the president basically, he, he, he uh, they said, he got nervous and basically threw his cards in on the wrong. Oh thing. no. Yeah. And tech-savvy Newark Mayor Booker government flunking social media. I know. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, because I, I, I'm going to explain something to the tech-savvy Mayor Booker. More, a lot of people don't have smartphones. They don't have computers. Young people have them. Older people really don't give a damn. I mean, I, I use my. I have every type of smart device you can have. Actually, I did. But, uh, <laughs> They, they get taken back from it because they, she, she fixed things. <laughs> what? Yeah, no, but um, uh, I text. Do I use the email on it? No. no. Do I use any of the other features on them? No. Well, maybe we should take the, the data off. <laughs> yeah, well, no, but this, the data is there for your benefit, remember? I online, know. Because when you run your battery out, you take my cell phone at times. Uh, yeah. And Senator rebuffs Obama requests to shift funds for the IMF. Oh, God, basically the Democrats said, we're not in our life, are we going to, you know, but they said he wants $65 billion for the IMF. What? Yeah, $65 billion. He's pledged $65 billion, and they told, you know, that Senate, the Democrats won't even bring it up because they said that, that you know, he promised them it in 210. They didn't do it in 211 or 212 because of the elections, and he said, no. At no time, at any time in the future, are you ever going to see anything about him wanting to fund the IMF with our money because they throw every person out in the House or Senate that voted for that. Oh, one. they do? And history suggests a Detroit bid to avoid state takeover is futile. Because the state, the city is broke. They can't pay their bills. They can't do, okay, first of all, the city of Detroit owes money to the federal government. They owe money to the state. They owe money to everywhere. And they can't pay the, uh, and bonds, unlike what the president says, bondholders have to be paid, they're at the top of the line, mm -hmm. they get paid off. People who bought community bonds, they want their money. And, uh -huh. it, and the only way it's going to get done is for the state to take the city over. I mean, the city has went from like a million and a half people to 
two hundred and some thousand. That's a in the, the place of the graveyard. I mean, and they're making movies. And I it dawned on me, why are you making movies in Detroit? Why? It's a vacant city, which uh -huh. means everything is available at virtually no cost. Even if you hire union workers, you got you have locations you can't get anywhere else now. And Obama's char offensive could work. Lawmakers say. Yeah, they said, and and, and the hell will freeze over too. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I asked my. You know, my grandmother said that, and, and, and people didn't have all the ice water, but they're not going to get it. You know, so it's, <laughs> it, just, it's just ridiculous. A charm offensive, he expects to get Republicans to, to join in. I'm going to raise taxes on the wealthy, and in return, I will talk about uh, when the problem is ended to, you know, uh, working on uh, social reforms. Mm -hmm. no, that's never going to happen because they know his promises aren't worth the paper they're written on. And they are written on paper. And Jeb Bush, I'm in sync with Lindsey Graham on immigration. Yeah, and, uh, and, and, and Lindsey Graham is now on, Lindsey Graham is not going to get reelected. Basically, his attacking Ron Paul over the filibuster, which worked. Mm. They actually did something that Lindsey Graham and and uh, and Glenn and, uh, and, and, and uh, you know McCain thought could not be done. They did a filibuster, and a Democrat joined in with them. And there would have been more if he had decided to continue it. But what happened was they killed it when the White House said they have no intentions of killing people in the United States. Mm -hmm. And Jeb Bush calls media crack addicts for politics. ABC Otis News. Well, yeah, because they, they they're trying to say he's preparing for a 216 run. No. His son is preparing for a run when his son becomes 36 years old. His son, remember Jeb Bush's wife is Latin, mm -hmm. and uh, and and the Jew, and the younger Bush, he's just uh, 30 uh, 30 years old. He's running for his first seat in office, and he's expected to win hands down because not only is Jeb Bush's uh, mother Latin, he's married to a Latin girl also. He speaks the language totally fluently. Which means the Latin's all, and he's all tall, good looking, plus he sings. Mm. In California, yacht owner sees his stolen vessel washed ashore on TV. Yeah, we've actually. Oh my. We have, we have, we have been there. We have oh. seen, we have actually seen the, 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 uh, the, them trying to save a yacht and actually screw up and the yacht basically, remember when the cable broke and the thing came like a, uh, like a slingshot towards the shore, everybody's getting out of the way because that yacht is just coming like a bullet. Hmm. Sometimes the, your best efforts don't work because there's too much weight against you. And mystery of Hindenburg Air cat catastrophe solved. Oh yeah, it was just a fluke accident. Well, let's put it this way. My father was in the military at the time of the Hindenburg. My father said that his people had been told under no circumstances were you to give helium gas to the uh, to the Germans because they, they uh, didn't want they didn't want those stupid airships flying here. So they filled with hydrogen gas. If you basically scrape a piece of metal against a piece of metal and a thing with hydrogen gas, it goes kaboomy. Guess what happened? Mm -hmm. It always was an accident because the United States government wouldn't allow them to have hydrogen. Here's a good one. Where do you think helium comes from? Mm -hmm. It was discovered in Germany. And the U.S. and China agree. UN really? Yeah, it's a oh. German product. They they uh, they were exporting it because they were making. They needed money for the for their. Uh, build up the gum, so they're exporting what they needed to make the end of their work. And U.S. and China agree U.N. sanctions draft and North Korea renews threats. Well, that died. That died this morning because oh, the Chinese, the Chinese said they can't say because they can't be held responsible for hurting the people of North Korea. This is a problem between the United States and the North Koreans. Oh, that's what China said. Yeah. Well, China does a lot of business. With it. They fund well, our they, economy. They, okay, they fund they, our economy okay. in North Korea. If this, their economy is totally North Korea. I mean, they sell things to North Korea, and in return, they get lots of raw materials. The raw materials is what is feeding. The Chinese, uh, you know, uh, economy at the moment, and why the GOP must come to terms with George Bush's disastrous presidency. He didn't have a disastrous presidency. We're going to try to put things in a, in a perspective that should be. Until the Democrats took over and threatened to raise taxes on the oil companies, remember you had $150 a gallon gas mm -hmm. under the Democrats, and you had a choice. 
do I, I'm working at McDonald's, do I keep the house that I have in Brentwood? Mm -hmm. Or do I keep my job and pay for gas? Well, they gave up their Brentwood homes. And you say, well, their people weren't living in Brentwood. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. They were living in Brentwood because all they had to do was to be making a monthly payments. And when you've got five or six members in the family working, you can make the payment on a Brentwood home. Mm -hmm. But if you have five or six working, those are five or six cars that have to go, and it basically, you understand what the gasoline is, you know, like at, what, at five bucks a gallon, what it's going to cost those people, which means the housing problem getting ready to hit all over again. And Kenyatta declared the winner of Kenya's presidential vote. Yeah, for what it matters, because they're, going to, they're getting ready to overthrow him this morning. So. Already? Yeah. And a Monty bubbleism for the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Uh, okay, this is one that um, if you can't do better than what the other people have done, you certainly shouldn't be condemning them for doing it. 